and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Uh, when we last left off, we had just agreed to spy on LaCroix for the Anarchs, and um, we had also finished up our little problem with Bishop Vic. After, you know, kind of derping about in combat and not really realizing that a crossbow is much more preferable to a Glock when fighting a vampire. Should have listened to Jack's advice, and oh well. Many months later. Much, much later. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Alright, there we go. Back in the filthy, crime-infested streets of Los Angeles. And there is one last thing that we need to take care of in, uh, actually a couple more things. So, you know, we actually realized, uh, we're gonna go take a quick stop back across from the last round where we were going to look up one the location of one Muddy Mike Durbin. <laughs> oh great, I got the hiccups. Or hopefully that was just a hiccup, you never know. Anyways, we better feed soon as well, so that's gonna have to happen. But, you know, hey, gonna happen here or there. Oh, it's Lovely, lovely place. Um, bits and pieces of construction all over the floor, and, uh, hey, hobo. Oh. Oh, my. Well. Lovely. Sup? Did you see it? That bloody mess? It's kind of hard to miss. He done tore him up. Right in two. Ripped him part by Gregdo. Who was it? These two guys... That guy and nothing, and they showed up. I've been living here, so I hid. I thought maybe they was owners or, or cops coming to clean the place out. Yeah? What were they doing? Oh, uh, they was waiting on someone. They were going to do some kind of job, you're saying. But the person they was meeting when he was late. So the one guy leaves and find the phone and call him, and the, and the dead guy stayed. Well, that's when the killer, yeah, that's when he showed up. Who made the call? The dead fella called him Muddy. Oh, so this dead guy and Muddy, uh, go on. Oh, they was waiting on someone. Oh, God damn it. Some kind of job, you saying? Yeah, you just said that. Showed up? One second he wasn't there, and then he was. Like out of the shadows, he come up. Scared the shit out of the dead guy. I liked to scream, but I couldn't breathe. You're lucky you didn't. Oh, that killer, he grew these claws. I swear it, I saw it. The dead guy went white, like he'd seen the devil. Then the killer grabbed him round the neck and lifted him up and started cursing at the guy. What did he say? Oh, I couldn't hear too good. Something about revenge for what he did or what they did. The killer made sure the dead guy knew who he was and then ripped him open. It just tore him apart. He did it real slow and made the guy scream. If you tell anyone that story, they'll lock you up forever. You should leave now. Okay, okay, I will. I don't want to ever think about that again. Well, that's, uh... Oh, hey, a severed head. And a basketball hoop. Now, let's see if my game is, if I've got the game today. No. One more? We'll give it three tries, and then if that doesn't happen... No. And... Last try. Aw, boo. Well, that didn't work, but um, we're going to need to get up there, and I think we can do that just by hopping up here, 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 and there. Awesome. And, oh my. Hey, yeah, car stereo. And, oh hey. That's a key to the Lucky Star Motel. Yeah. Alright, so we could have done that as well, but there was no, but I just felt like doing that, so, yeah. Oh, let's get out of here before the 5-0 shows up. I can't do another nickel. La 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 the screen a bang the bang jiggy jiggy. Okay, I'm sorry, I'll never do that again. Alright, well Ah, oh that was the cart that I stepped on. The next thing we're gonna do is check out that creepity creepy abandoned hospital. I think there would probably be something of use in there, don't you? Bow, 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 bow. 
Alright. There's the hospital. Ha! No trespassing? I break your rules, sir, for that is what I do. La da da, loading screen, loading screen, do 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 Huh. Nice. Lovely place. Oh, hi, guy. Look out, it's right behind you now. Slow down, what's coming? Who are you? What's behind you? Look, I'll let them through. We, we, we usually fake these things, you know, ghosts, if you, that's all bullshit. <clears throat> we were sitting up downstairs. We had shit started happening. My crew, they all started disappearing. I don't know what's happening. Wait here. I'll go see if I can find him. No, no, don't go down there. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Let's wander around in here a little bit, see what we can find. Uh, oh, wonder what's up in here, up in here. Can't seem to open that, but I can seem to get in here. Yeah, jumping on the hospital bed. Well, oh, buggery, I've got to check what's in here, I suppose. Huh. Anything worth taking in here? A bedpan! Eh. Eh. Well, fine, I'll go up through those vents again. Crouch, 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 crouch. Crouchy, crouchy, crouch. Yep. Alright, now what is in here? Suppose I could check the stairs. They're covered in filth, so no, I can't. Anything? Ha! Under the stairs. Get out of there, board. What? Oh no! The Invisible Man! Ugh. Alright. Ugh. Crying out loud, there's junk everywhere here. Um, anything on the other side of this? No? Probably not. I wonder what's in here. Well, that's where she just was. Is there anything I can take? Aha! A morphine bottle. I figured there'd be some drugs lying around in an abandoned hospital, but you never know. Alright, what's in here? More junk, I presume. Yeah, gotta go down over here. Uh-oh. That's... That's not a good sound. Anything in this little segment down here? No. Just appears to be a pile of crap. Blood in there, that's... Ah! That's not a good sign. Uh, boy. Well, oh, wait. Where'd that morphine bottle? Where's that thing hiding? Thought I saw a morphine bottle. Aha! There it is. Yoink. Well, you know, hey. We could be doing stuff to rescue these people who are probably being horribly butchered, but a morphine bottle, come on. Anything in here? No. Eh. Thank you. Nope. <laughs> Well, 
How about that? And for some reason, I'm going to keep going towards there, because that's where the plot progresses. Oh, jeez. Well, this is promising. Hi! Oh god, oh, jeez. Real terror is not the sight of death. It is the fear of death. What is the fear of death? Terror of the unknown. What? Is it these eyes you peer into? No, I am not the unknown. You and I are closer kin than you and it were. What are you? Drinking blood to sustain your death. You are damned, yes. What if, besides the blood of the living, you had to eat pounds of their flesh to maintain that thin facade of life? What would you call it? Twice damned? I would quote Marv and say, I know it's pretty damn weird to eat people. Who are you? My birth name I tell no one. You may address me as Fisher. Fisher was the name of my companion and lover in a time before my death, 230 years ago. She has no need of it anymore. Why are you living in a condemned building? My stay in this city is transitory. I seek relics of the occult traced here and would trade similar artifacts to acquire them. But if you wish to bargain with me, the kind upstairs must be sent down here. He has seen too much. <sighs> He'll never come down here. He's scared out of his mind. Tell him this was all a ruse. His friends playing a joke. He will come. He must come down here. If he leaves, the frail disguise we wear for mortals will be seen through. God damn it. If it has to be this way, I'll take care of it right now. God damn it. Meh. Well, we're gonna have to pretty much... It might seem really horrible what we're about to do, but... Well, let's face it, it's kind of important for us to, uh you know, get this taken care of, because the stuff Pisha can give us is incredible. I'm not even joking, it's the most incredible stuff. So, we're gonna go down to the Skyline Apartments, and we're gonna convince this guy to come back and get numbed. Do -do, do -do, do -do, do -do, loading... Uh, do we have anything that we can use our experience for? Not, not really, no. Um, I want to save that experience probably for Auspects too. so yeah. I'm going to get out of our character editor. And go hang out at the apartment buildings. Yeah, that is the way to the apartment buildings, is this way. Taxi! all. Oh. Every time I think I'm about to be able to jump on that taxi, I can't. That makes me a sad Zack. Alright. Watch as we walk into the Skyline Apartments and this guy tries to shoot us in the face again. Okay. And still can't believe that guy just shot us for going in the employees only room. No? Well, well, congratulations, he's not murder happy today, I guess. I'm gonna go to floor one. Uh, let's see if we can't pick that lock. Good, I really don't have the blood to blood buff my way out of here. Oh, hey, I remember this place. Hey, buddy. The hospital. What? In my crew. Are they? Are they? It was a joke. They're all waiting for you in the hospital basement. Funny guys.
Johnny. Oh, you got me good. <laughs> I'm going to hurt some people. <laughs> yeah, you do that. Well, I feel like a turd. Oh well, it happens. So uh, we're gonna just head down, back, head back on to the hospital. See what um, we can barter anything with Pasha. Wait, what am I? Yeah, we got five XP. I think. Yep, five XP. I didn't take a good look there because I was derping. Mm -hmm. Loading, loading screen. Loading, loading screen. Do 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 do. Helicopter. We're gonna actually stop in here and feed real quick. Ah, there's our lady. Hello. There you are. I was beginning to think you ditched me. Did you? Only a complete loser would do that. Come here. Nom, 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 nom. There we go. Infinite doors. Infinidor. Alright, we're going to get back to the hospital and then we will uh, go check, uh, and then we'll get ready for our visit to check out the Elizabeth Dane. But, hospital first. Yes. I have conquered the taxi. Do, 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 do. <laughs> and look at that, we can go through this grate now. <laughs> Sup? The kind's fate was sealed the moment he entered. Do not waste time debating the morality. If a man walks into a tiger's domain, it may result in his being devoured. So it has. I understand. About those artifacts you were talking about? Yes. I am searching for two items I have tracked to this area. One, I believe, may be in one of the local museums. I have not yet searched them all. The other, I believe, to be in the Giovanni's possession, though I have not confirmed. For these items, I will exchange items of similar worth. Fair enough. Tell me about the item you think is in a museum. A fetish is described in a 19th century chronicle of a British platoon's encounter with a local tribe. Soldiers would go missing in the night and be replaced by these fetishes. It may be valuable to my studies. And the other? It is used to communicate with certain entities otherworldly. It is a tome called the Voce de Morte. Should you find yourself within the walls of the Giovanni, seize the opportunity and take it, for they will make sure you never have another. If I find it, I'll bring it by. Well, how about that? Um, I'm going to go, uh, I guess now, check out the Elizabeth Dane. Oh. Um, ah, what the hell? Stop that. That was weird. No, but we're going to go to Santa Monica. And uh, while we're there, I guess what we can do is uh, just get set up. And then we'll go to the Elizabeth Dane in the next video. And I think that'd be a pretty good time. All right. To the cab. Need a ride. Okay, get me out of here. We're gonna go to Santa Monica. Gotta love that place. Do, 
do. Come on and load, and welcome to the screen. Ah, uh, Glenn. And there's the beach access. Oh, the officers are gone, and so are the cops. Hmm. Alright, we can get this to load quick enough, that'd be great. Oh god, lag. Hey, Mercurio. Hey, you, hey, what can I say? You preserve my ass. I truly appreciate you not saying anything, and I want you to know I take care of those who do me favors. So from now on, you need equipment, info, come see me in my apartment. I might need some equipment for this little trip. Oh, there's really not a whole lot we can actually purchase that's worth purchasing, is there? Well, we'll sell the knife. Um, see if we can't get rid of a couple of those... Um, uh, stop lagging game. Or those more valuable things we got. And there we go. Well, um, that seems to be everything we need to take care of here, so I'm going to stop the video and then we'll catch up in a moment. Bye!